Well, hello, my friends. Mel here. So I definitely wanted to come in here and talk to you guys about something that's going on in Facebook groups, and that is we're having issues live streaming to Facebook groups today. So Facebook recently uh, released some new feature updates. They're rolling some stuff out to groups, which likely is the culprit on breaking the API or it's created a bug inside Facebook groups. So if you tried to go live in a group today, you probably noticed that after about five minutes or so, it disconnected your live stream and your live stream broadcast in the group ended. Now, if you're using StreamYard and you're multi-streaming, you get a notification that says we've lost connection to your group. Your stream will continue if you're streaming outside the group as well. So if you're streaming to YouTube, to a Facebook page, for example, those streams are still intact. It just stopped streaming to your Facebook group. Now, you can actually edit the broadcast live, re-add the Facebook group, but it's gonna disconnect again. So I wanted to let you guys know that this is an issue today, but I also wanted to offer you a couple of workarounds for anyone who's planning to go live in a Facebook group today. It could get fixed any minute. It may take till tomorrow. Who knows? So definitely have a contingency plan in place if you don't want to cancel your live broadcast. So I'm going to share with you a couple of ideas that hopefully will help you in this situation. All right. So the first situation is actually letting your Facebook group know you aren't going to be live in your group, sharing a link to those other destinations so they can watch you live outside of the group. So really quick, how you do that is you can actually get those links really easily. So if you go in and you click on these three dots, if you have a scheduled post, you're going to see to your wherever you're scheduled to go live. Now, this one right here happens to be the group. So if you click on this one, it's gonna give you a link to that scheduled stream. So you can simply grab that link, share it in your group and say, hey, we're in Facebook group uh, isn't working today with live video. If you wanna catch me live, you're gonna to have to go watch over here at this destination. It could be YouTube or wherever you're planning to go live. So that is the first suggestion I wanted to offer you. Now, if that is the case, you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you turn off your scheduled stream to your group. You don't wanna confuse anybody by saying, go watch me over here, but then your scheduled broadcast is still showing up in the group. So simply edit your destinations. Go to back to those three dots. We're gonna to go to edit this time. It's gonna pull up where you can change your image, you can change your time, whatever you need to do. But in this case, we're actually going to unselect the group that we were planning to stream to by simply just selecting it and then click remove. Now you're gonna see here delete on Facebook. This isn't working right now. Again, probably a break in the API. So you're gonna wanna remove it here, which is going to then edit your stream. You're gonna save changes. And now as you can see, I'm now only scheduled to stream to my Facebook page. But make sure that that uh, scheduled stream is gone inside your group. So go to your Facebook group and make sure that that scheduled post is gone. If it's not gone, then definitely delete it right there. And this is the case if you're ever edit editing a destination in StreamYard. So you can still go live, you just go live somewhere else and share that link inside your group or your groups, let them know what's going on. But you might be saying, but Mel, uh, there's a reason I have a private group in the first place. It's exclusive. I go live in there and it's only for them and there's Q&A and it's reserved for them. I can't go live publicly and then it's not the same thing. Okay, let's talk about workaround number two. If you have a YouTube channel, even if it's just a personal YouTube channel, make sure it's connected to StreamYard and you can actually go live as an unlisted video, which means no one's gonna be able to see you live or watch it unless they have this link. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let's go to our screen share again. So we're gonna create a broadcast. We're gonna select YouTube. We're gonna, you're first, you're gonna connect that channel if you're not already connected. And then when you're here, you're gonna notice that you have some options. Now this is for YouTube. So public is by default. But if you go to unlisted, what's gonna happen is, is that live broadcast, again, is not gonna be accessible to anyone unless they have the link. So we're gonna schedule it for later. Oops, we're not gonna upload an image because it's just a demo, right? We're gonna do 6 p.m. today. And we're just gonna say demo, demo, whatever. You would obviously use the correct titles. Again, no one can see this unless they have the link. To get the link, you have to create that scheduled broadcast. So you're gonna create your broadcast, and now it is scheduled. And you simply go over here and click view on YouTube. This is an unlisted link, which means no one has, no one can access this or see this unless you share the link with them. It's unlisted, it's not public. So, but it's not private. Private would mean they'd have to have a password or no one can see it at all, but you wanna select unlisted. 
Then you can share this link inside of your Facebook group by just copying this link simply here, share it to your group, and do the same thing. Say, hey, can't go live inside the group, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna create an unlisted YouTube live experience for you. So if you wanna catch me for today's Q&A or whatever it is, you'll need to go to this link. That's where I'll be broadcasting today. But have no fear, exclusive group members. No one can see this or your comments unless they have this link. So exclusive group members, please don't share this link outside of the group. That's something you'll wanna make sure as well. Now, hopefully we get this fixed really soon. Not we, Facebook. Because again, this is not a StreamYard issue, but I I wanted to come in here and give you guys a couple workarounds because you know it can be a little bit um you know a little bit frustrating when you can't keep up with your reoccurring your regular schedule and also your audience it just can, can be confusing but you can still show up for them live today or tomorrow if this issue is still going on by using a couple of these workarounds so hopefully you found this helpful if you have any questions at all post them in the comments i'd be happy to help you